Garrett Blunt, uh, free agent running back, still a free agent running back, had 18 touchdowns last year, Dan. That's Touchdowns are still a commodity in the NFL. What's the market right now for LeGarrette Blunt? Well, we think that the Patriots acquisition of Mike Gillisley last week eliminates them from Blunt. Uh, so you look at teams that still have a need post-draft. I know he was talking to the New York Giants a little bit this offseason. They drafted a running back in the fourth round, uh, Wayne Gallman from Clemson. So you wonder if that takes care of that. Detroit still needs someone. A Green Bay could still stand to add a veteran. Uh, to their mix out there. So I think someone will take a shot on LeGarrette Blunt at some point. Tim Hasselbeck made a good point on the air yesterday about uh, how you get into camp and you realize your rookies aren't so great in pass protection. Maybe that, now you're saying, what's LeGarrette Blunt's phone number again? We might need a veteran coming here and show these guys how it's done. What, what am I missing? Why isn't he getting more interest? Because it's really, it's a, you know what, I, I think it's like, look, running back, the running back room is kind of comprised the same way your wide receiver group is. It's all about styles. If you have a bunch of third down backs, and you're looking for a first and second down pounder, a short yardage guy, a goal line red zone specialist, then LeGarrette's your guy. Obviously, some people don't think that they need that profile of guy right now. Just look at what Carolina did, right? I mean, Carolina has Jonathan Stewart. Well, now they bring in, a, they bring in guys like Christian McCaffrey, mm -hmm. a different type of guy, a different type of guy who, can, who really is a third down type of specialist. With, you know, with LeGarrette, it's about styles. It's about who needs that type of runner. And maybe right now teams don't feel as though they need that type of runner yet. But he'll get signed. He's too good not to.